Today we got this big maple log. I'm kind of excited about it. We're gonna cut it into two and a half inch thick, as wide as we can get boards. This thing measures in at about 33, 34 inches in diameter. At the big end, it's 12 foot long. It's all the 873 will do to pick it up. So we're gonna throw this thing on the mill. So that was definitely in the top five ways not to load a log, but we got it up there. I had a problem that second fork, the one that I did not cut off, was trying to hang up on one of the bed rails and I finally got it rolled over top of that. That was uh, unpleasant to say the least. The log has a crotch in it that wise out pretty far. I'm going to go ahead and cut that off with a chainsaw before we ever get started. It's just uh, it's not going to fit through the mouth of the machine. And I want to show you guys this too. Something to watch out for. When it was unloaded, most likely, this thing got peppered with gravel. And that right there will ruin a blade on your mill quick, fast, and in a hurry. So you always want to watch for that and go ahead and clean that off if at all possible it's going to save you about $30 this is a big log uh, we're probably going to I, I did a foolhardy thing and I left the mill head back there so I'm probably going to have to take the blade off run the mill head back in order to make that first cut and we're probably gonna have to use a chainsaw on it a fair bit to trim off. Take the blade off and run the mill head back. Might get one cut, take a couple inches off of it, and then I'll be able to Use a chainsaw and trim it down to where the mouth of the saw comes through it. The bad part about logs that are massive like this is just the sheer amount of time that it takes. When they are oversized logs like this one, I charge by the hour. Anything over 26 inches and you lose a lot of time. This log is too big for my mill. So I'm gonna have to use the chainsaw and come back and cut a wedge out down to 20 inches, give or take. These kind of logs are where I really need to get myself a chainsaw mill, a big Alaskan mill. It's time to sharpen some saws. You saw the unit tip. It reached its tipping weight there a little bit ago. I'm here to tell you guys, that's not that's not nothing to play around with. Um, you got to be careful when you got a load like that on there. Um, not to move too quickly and. I really moved a little faster than I should right there in that in that moment. I had a situation, had an accident several years ago. Right after I got my mill, I was trying to get some logs out of the woods. And I had this big 16 foot bear of a log coming out of the woods with it had it 
have the, the road bed is probably, you know, 14 to 16 feet in diameter in, you know, width there. And I was in the 16 foot area and all of a sudden I got into some trees that were closing in on me. And when I did, I had my bucket up too high and I stopped. And when I stopped, that skid steer, all of the force of the weight in that bucket came up. I didn't have my seatbelt on. Thankfully, that thing has a, a pull down safety measure that keeps you in the cab. But I hit the top of the cab with my head and crunched my neck with all the force of that log. My guess is that log probably weighed about 3,400 pounds, 3,200 pounds, something like that. And when I hit the brakes, everything went forward and I was catapulted into the front of the cab or into the uh, top of the cab and jacked my neck up for a while. So those of you who are operating skid steers, operating tractor loaders, and have big logs to move, be careful. It can easily turn out to be a bad day quickly. Don't want you guys getting hurt. Learn from my mistakes. Hey guys. Thanks for joining us for another episode of the Dusty Ranch. If you're still watching, it probably means that you're enjoying this video. So please hit that thumbs up icon. If you've not already done so, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you're made aware anytime I publish future videos. I hope you enjoy the remainder of this video and keep your eyes open for the second portion of this video where we reveal the massive, beautiful slabs that have come out of this giant maple log. It took me about an hour to get this wedge cut out and I'll be honest with you, I'm exhausted. I've been at it most of the day already. I'm going to cut a couple of slabs out of this and before i go to turn the log i'm going to call it a day uh, we'll come back to it monday and see what else it holds but i'll give you guys a little preview um, of you know what we're gonna see and then come back monday finish her out and find out what kind of goodie is on the inside of this log We look forward to seeing you next time here on the Dusty Ranch, where we will continue to slice this maple log. Until then, don't forget to hug your mama, kiss your babies, and like always, keep it dusty.